All right, hello there, folks, and uh, welcome to our next unit in math. It's about patterns and equations, and we're just going to get started here. We have something here called a 100 chart. And if you don't know what a 100 chart is, well, it's generally a chart from 1 to 100, and they're arranged in uh, rows of 10 and columns of 10. And so uh, I have a pattern here in the numbers um, with the colored squares, and there's also a pattern in the where the position of the colored squares are but do you see any other patterns going on? All right, so here we have the start of a pattern on a 100 chart, and we could describe the pattern in different ways. And we call this a pattern rule. And I'm going to say that again. When we describe a pattern, we are calling, it's called a pattern rule. Okay, so that's what we're going to focus on here today a little bit is starting to write pattern rules and recognize them in charts. So one pattern rule we have going on here is we could use two as a, a start of a diagonal. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's a kind of a diagonal thing going on in the chart where it's kind of moving in this direction here. Um, so we could start at two, that's the first number that's colored. And the colors, the colored squares lie along every third diagonal. And the diagonals go one down and one to the left. And maybe I'll just draw that out. So it's, I'll go to five here. It goes one down and one to the left and it's colored. One down, one to the left and it's colored. So we could um, see these first 10 numbers which are colored, which is two, five, eight, 11, 14, 17, 17, 20, 23, 26, and 29, okay? And we could say the pattern rule is it goes down and one to the left, starting from two. Another pattern rule that was in here is we could start again, start at two, because that's the first number. We always say where we start the pattern and we count on by threes. Okay, so we we'll start at two and we count by threes. One, two, three, there it is. One, two, three, there it is. One, two, three, there it is. Okay, so there's two pattern rules for this. Okay, and so if we were to continue this pattern either using either pattern rule, what squares would we continue to color? And so let's do a few with either pattern rule. Remember there's diagonals, so um, here would be one, here would be one, um, here, 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 because remember we're going down one and one to the left, okay? Uh, we could also count by, well, let's maybe we'll finish this diagonal here. And the other pattern rule was we count by threes. And so you might notice this this 100 chart pattern that we got going, there's nothing really going on over on this side right now. And so if I start counting, let's say from 47, one, two, three, I should be circling. Um, and then I could continue that one down, one to the left, or again from 56, one, two, three, here it is going to work. Okay, so I fill that in for the diagonal. Uh, 68, 1, 2, 3. Oh, it's at 71. That doesn't help us. So let's go down one. 1, 2, 3 from 77. And that should fill in the rest of our pattern. All right, I'm going to get you to try one. Uh, I have a 100 chart here, and I'd like you to start at 5 and count on by 5s to 100. What patterns do you see? And how would you describe the pattern rule? Now, I know you probably don't have a 100 chart in front of you, so I just really want you to use mental math here. What would you color? If you could press pause, what would you circle or color? Um, and what pattern? What would you call the pattern rules in that? Okay, so I said start at five and count on by fives. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Oh, I think I notice a trend here. Okay, I have a feeling that we're gonna color all of this in or circle. Sorry. Okay, so remember the task here was what is the pattern rule? So pattern rule number one is we start at five and we go down one square. That could be a pattern rule, okay? Or I guess we could say start at 10 and go down one square as well. Pattern rule number two is start at five and um, count on 
by fives. This is probably a better pattern rule because just kind of like I, I kind of pointed it out that if we just start at five and go down one square, that's really only going to fill in this column. Okay, so we do need to get to here um, and, and move along. Hey, you try this one though. Uh, it's not a hundred chart. It is a chart. In real life, we call these things calendars, and they are charts of some sorts. They're organized in rows and columns. And so uh, we're going to look, see if we can find some patterns in here. Jimmy has soccer every Thursday in May. His little brother Teddy has tennis lessons starting every second day on May the 4th. And I wrote May the 4th on purpose just because it's Star Wars Day. You know, May the 4th be with you. And uh, anyways, what date or dates do both Jimmy and Teddy have lessons? They're mom right now and we're trying to figure out, hey, what day do they have to drive to both places here? So I'm going to get to pause this here. I want you to figure out which dates or date or dates, you know, one or two dates that both Jimmy and Teddy both have lessons. Okay, because I'm going to have uh, two kind of kids here going, I was going to call Jimmy Red. I'll just do a little legend there. Um, I don't know what happened to my M there, but that's okay. And we'll, we'll do Teddy as green. Okay. Now, Jimmy, every Thursday in May. Well, every Thursday in May is literally these ones. Okay, he's got four dates there. Now, Teddy, he is starting tennis lessons on May the 4th. So I'm going to circle that. And it's every second day. So one, two, 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 one, two. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's also kind of a pattern going on with diagonals here. Now, um, I wouldn't be doing this guy because that'd be June the 1st, okay? So it is a word problem. You've been given a question in a sentence form. We need to give it back in sentence form. So uh, we could say both Jimmy and Teddy have lessons on May 4th and the 18th the end all right so i gave this example because it's it's real life and real life math happens and i kind of say that at the end of each video so patterns we can use patterns in real life um just just saying take care guys mm -hmm.